Welcome to the Noseblade Seats. I am Max Every Crime Fighter. For the first time in quite a long time, we're back at IWA Unlimited in Olney, Illinois. Recent event that uh, occurred in January, first weekend of uh, 2013. Take a look at uh, quite a lot of new talent as uh, IWA Unlimited. Some old faces gone and a lot of new faces. I uh, hope you enjoyed last week's uh, Enjoyed uh, last week's uh, edition of the NBS episode 200 of the broadcast series. So we had the year in review edition. Did not have any time to uh, include any honorable mentions in that uh, rundown of the uh, top 10 news stories of the year. As I managed to fill up the entire half hour with uh, As I uh, was saying, managed to fill up the entire half hour with uh, just the top ten and the uh, obituaries. Didn't include um, any uh, side stories that the, uh, the top ten included, but uh, did not have time to include any honorable mentions. And I may put out a uh, special uh, YouTube exclusive covering some of those in the future. But uh, one of those. Uh, Honorable mentions can be um, the C4 departing either way unlimited. That would be Matt Cage, Alex Castle, Christian Rose, and Danny Cannon no longer with IWA Unlimited. And apparently there's some, uh, at least with some members of the C4, uh, the, they left uh, IWA Unlimited on uh, not so great terms. Matt Cage, of course. Uh, was the uh, head booker for uh, IWOW past couple of years and uh, said to have not taken his uh, replacement as a uh, lead booker very well. And so the uh, C4 uh, went off and uh, started a new organization, Fight Pro, ran two shows, but uh, only two shows so far. But the four men, or it's now down to three because Danny Cannon, he did, uh, he did flirt with uh, returning to the ring, and but uh, he decided to, uh, he did not uh, want to uh, make a full-time return, so uh, he is no longer wrestling again. The remaining members of C4, Rose Castle and Cage, uh, have gone elsewhere. Major part of uh, Pro Wrestling Collision, the former AEPW. Was AEPW. They have now become firmly entrenched in the uh, the Dreamwave roster. They've also gone to Scott County Wrestling, the revived Scott County Wrestling. Christian Rose uh, will be uh, going after the Dreamwave Heavyweight Title in February. The first show of the first show of the year for Dreamwave season premiere. He'll be taking on Nick Brubaker for that Heavyweight Title. After that big, big victory over uh, WWE, former WWE superstar Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy did not have a great 2012. He had uh, a number of uh, personal problems and issues in the course of his year, but uh, Christian Rose managed to uh, score the upset and defeat Matt Hardy. And to not take away from this match because uh, there is a uh, match with uh, two uh, relative newcomers and two fully capable longtime members of the uh, IWOW roster in the ring right now. The A team, Brandon Thunderbolt Walker, and the IWOW heavyweight champion, A.T. Brooks, taking on the newcomers. 
Lace students of the uh, IWOW uh, training school that uh, runs at the uh, Knights of Columbus Hall in, Illinois, in uh, Alney, Illinois. The team of Kyle Pfeiffer and Steven Dominic. This is our first look at these two men. As Brandon Walker chops chops away on the smaller man of the team, Steve Dominic. And Dominic turns it around and chops away on Thunderbolt Walker. Walker, a former IWOW Tag Team Champion. He was champions with uh, the Intimidator Josh Tott, but uh, they could not get along in the long run, and they split up, and Tag Titles got, uh, they've uh, each found new partners, and they fought for the Tag Titles for who would uh, control uh, both belts. It ended up being Josh Totten and Joey O'Reilly. We'll see Joey O'Reilly in the next uh, segment. But A.T. Brooks uh, upset Christian Rose. He uh, had one of those, he won a, uh, a Royal Rumble match for an automatic uh, heavyweight title shot whenever he chose. And he chose to cash it in after uh, Christian Rose uh, had a successful title defense and beat him rather quickly. And it's our uh, podcast interview with uh, A.T. Brooks uh, many months ago. Uh, fans were heading out the door thinking the show was over. And A.T. Brooks comes to the ring and cashes in that title match contract and defeats Christian Rose and is the IWOW Heavyweight Champion. And Walker with a headbutt in between the uprights. It was not a low blow, he just struck the uh, I guess the stomach, the belly area of Steve Dominic as A.T. Brooks drops the elbows on Steve Dominic. The rookies in this match. A snap mare from A.T. Brooks and a kick to the back. IWN Limited runs weekly, twice a week, Wednesday nights. Right here at this very venue, Knights of Columbus Hall. It is free admission. The Sunday shows do cost money to uh, get in. That's Kiara Nova at ringside. The uh, valet of A.T. Brooks and girlfriend. A.T. Brooks shoves uh, Stephen Dominic into the apron. There's the cover. One, two, and a two count. Work a leg next time, dummy. Well, this weekend, a couple of key events. Zero One USA returns to Mattoon, Illinois at the Burgess Osborne Auditorium with a double cage match. Kentucky Buffet defend Zero One Midwest Tag Titles against the Hooligans and a women's cage match. Serenity Bree Allison takes on rival Angelus Lane at the Perkins Osborne Auditorium on January 26th. There's Walker trying to get a few cheap shots on uh, Dominic, but A.T. Brooks back in control. Oh, uh, A.T. Brooks with a kick to the gut. And A.T. to pick him up, slam him. Not very hard slamming now. He drops him. Drives that knee in the back of uh, Steven Dominic and has that headlock on the mat. It's Kyle Pfeiffer patiently waits in the corner to tag in. He's the larger member of the team. And it seems A.T. Brooks has a cheering section, even though that majority of Olney fans uh, don't like his uh, new attitude. There's a whip to the corner. A.T. Brooks going to charge, splash misses, and there's a tag. And here comes Kyle Pfeiffer. A pickup and a slam. And here comes Walker. Going to try and sunset flip, but it's blocked. There's a boot to the face. 
Oh! There's a diamond cutter, and that's going to be it. One, two, three. And that is all she wrote. Eighteen. Eight minutes and ten seconds. Victorious over the rookie team. Well, it takes experience to uh, be able to uh, hang with the, uh, the veterans and uh, Dominic and Pfeiffer just could not get it done tonight. We'll see uh, how the careers develop in the uh, next year or so. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a look at the new MBS 25 for January 2013. And we're also going to take a look at this weekend's wrestling events around the central Illinois region. Coming in March 2013, it's the 6th Annual NBS Awards. We're back on the road this year to honor the Wrestler of the Year, Tag Team, Most Popular, Most Hated, The Gold Microphone, Referee, Manager, Feud, Match of the Year, and to make inductions into the Central Illinois Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Nominations are now open. Visit CentralIllinoisProWrestling.com right now for all the information you need to honor the best in Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. Oh wait, there we go. Alright, we're going to take a look at more new talent. Darren Dean, part of the uh, controversial Team Ambition the uh, fifth story. Fifth story in our uh, top ten list. One half of the iWild Tag Team Champions along with the Intimidator Josh Totten. So I was saying, uh, Darren Dean, part of Team Ambition, the, uh, they had a uh, quite a bizarre year. So we uh, await the Tag Team Partner of one, uh, Joy O'Reilly. As life goes out, 
part of the entrance for uh, this man. Man, I'm surprised the camera was able to uh, be able to get the silhouettes of the wrestlers in the ring, even in the dark. Lights come back on. Shank Barzini in the ring. He will be teaming up with uh, Joey O'Reilly tonight. I have harped enough about Darren Dean. Teaming up with him straight from uh, United Kingdom. Yes, he is a resident uh, from overseas. Uh, Scum boy Danny Graves. Wrestler out of the UK is in the United States for next uh, several months. Is another uh, student of Davy Richards. So yet another member of the uh, Team Richards entourage. Richards is not here tonight. But, uh, few other members of uh, Team Richards we will be seeing in action on this program next week. We're seeing singles action. And Scumboy starting off for his team with a side headlock on Joey O'Reilly. Do I mention Pinfall Wrestling Association? Will be uh, running its first event of the year in Springfield, Illinois, at the JC's Activity Center, 2525 South 12th Street. That's on January the 26th. If you can't go out to that tune, or if you want to go to PWA, Metro East Championship Wrestling will be holding its first show of the year on January the 26th. The Knights of Columbus Hall in Wood River, Illinois. And of course, you can uh, get all the websites and uh, links to those shows from St. Louis Wrestling Community, stlwrestling.livejournal.com. Dreamwave will be holding its first event of the year on uh, February the 2nd. In the South Peru, first show of the year. There's a shoulder block from uh, Scumboy. Off the ropes. Joey! Well, that's going to be a highlight for the blooper reel as uh, Joey O'Reilly fired that drop kick and actually went right over the head of uh, Scumboy. Did not, uh, I guess, grazed him on the way down, but certainly the, uh, the worst did not connect. That didn't look good either. There's a tag to Darren Dean and Scumboy's <laughs> gonna take take a breather. And here comes Shank Barzini. Also want to note Jacksonville, Illinois, my hometown, is going to have its first professional wrestling event in a quarter century. The new proving get proving ground pro. We'll be running in Bogarts on the uh, east side of town off Old State Road. That will be February the 9th. Finally, pro wrestling comes back to Jacksonville. The last time Jacksonville, Illinois has had a wrestling show, I was in attendance for WWE. Back in, the, it was like 1988. You know what the main event of that card was? Bruce the Barber Beefcake versus the Mighty Hercules. And also the Junkyard Dog took on the, uh, the One Man Gang. That was the double main event of that card 25 years ago. And Shank Barzini drives Darren Dean out to the floor. 
Graves and Dean are going to regroup here as uh, Shank and Joey Riley so far have the advantage over uh, members of Team Richards. Darren Dean got to climb back into the ring. Well, Dean wants Shank to tag to Joey here. Shank is uh, quite the uh, intimidator in the ring. And there's that tag to Joy O'Reilly. Oh, and Darren Dean tried to get a cheap shot in, but Shank avoided it. And Joy O'Reilly with an arm drag on Darren Dean. Darren Dean grabbing the ropes. Forced the break, and now he's going to tag in. Tag Graves back in the match. Not sure where, uh, which uh, England promotion that uh, Dane Graves wrestles out of in, uh, across the pond. As uh, Dean got a knee to the back on Joey O'Reilly and a side headlock takedown from Danny Graves. Joey got to turn him over. Only got one count. Joey come. Send him off for the ride. Scumboy. Oh! Both men down. Joey Riley pops back up. I don't think either man got the better of that, but Darren Dean comes in to help out Dean Graves. There's a tag. Darren Dean going to come back in. Going to send Joey Riley to the ride. And a double clothesline. And the team of Graves and Dean in the cover. And a two count. As I mentioned uh, earlier, 0-1 USA, Matt 2 in Illinois, main event, double cage match. Just want to note that Blake Hercker Dirge will be taking on Bear St. Pierre for the uh, Zero One Illinois Championship. There's a few talent signings that uh, Zero One had. They have landed If Looks Could Kill, who apparently have separated from Dreamwave. And Nelson and Greg Glover going to wrestle for uh, Zero One USA. Uh, they've also signed uh, Samurai Del Sol, who is rumored to uh, have signed a WWE contract which turned out not to be true. However, Samurai the, the Soul made a mistake denying they signed with WWE. He should have just said, could be, could be. I mean, Blay Arcadurge, when uh, people were asking if he signed with WWE, when the rumors were flowing around that uh, he was going to WWE to be part of an entourage with uh, Kevin Thorne, he said, could be, could be. And he reaped the benefits. I mean, Samurai DeSol didn't have to lie to, uh, didn't have to tell a lie about it. You could just say, I could have been, could be, I could be. Not deny it, but not confirm it either. Darren Dean choking Joy Riley in the corner. Shank Barzini is going to the official. Oh! Drops him. There's a cover. One, two, to count. We need your nominations for the MBS Awards, which is coming up in March of 2013. We're starting the awards sometime uh, during that month, we'll be awarding the awards on location whenever we uh, encounter the uh, the winners of the awards we will be uh, handing those awards to them we'll be presenting them on the road just like we did last year I wow of course is under consideration for a uh, promotion of the year they will have competition from Dreamwave like they did last year but there are other contenders Midwest Wrestling, United Wrestling Coalition, Zero One USA, 
PWA, IWA Productions. And both men onto the corners, getting the tags, and Shanks in, takes out the scum boy. Kind of a name is scum boy. Shank with a slam and a cover, and Darren Dean breaks it up. Pinfall Wrestling Association run Saturday also in Springfield at the JC Activity Center. There's that acrobatic move from Darren Dean, the German suplex, the cover, and Joy. Well, he chose not to break it up, but Shank kicked out anyway. Moonsault. Didn't quite catch him as much as he wanted. Shank with a kick to the face, but Dean with a kick, and all four men are down. Reminder, we will be back at IWOW next week on this show. Episode 202 of the NBS TV as referee. Counts everyone. Joey and Dean back on their feet. They're slugging it out. Joey gonna send Dean over the top. And Dane Graves splashes Shank in the corner. Sends him to the ride. Shank slips around. Picks him up. Death Valley driver. Cover. One, two, three, and that's it. Shank and O'Reilly, winners. 10 minutes, 35 seconds. Shank and O'Reilly, victorious on this edition of the Nosebleed Seats TV, hailing from Olney, Illinois. At IWA Unlimited. Well, be sure to check out the wrestling action going around, going on in uh, Central Illinois, whether it's in Mattoon, Springfield, or even Wood River, Illinois, and Olney. Don't forget Olney. Wrestling every week here in IWAL, Wednesdays and Sunday nights. This is the Mad Conservative the Crime Fighter. Thank you for watching this edition of the Nosebleed Seats. We will see you next week. <laughs>